All right, so I decided to have some more fun with crocodiles. Crocodiles are just a, it's a pretty good unit. It has specifically a couple counters to like summoning builds and also honey badger in the back. And I think it can be very helpful, but most of the time you don't want to go with like five crocodiles. That's a little over the top, but you know what? It's arena and I'm just having fun with these teams. I think sniping teams in general are actually some of the most fun teams to have. Uh, I don't know like why, I guess it's just because it's really satisfying to kill someone's like entire team before you even do anything. So yeah, that's the kind of the appeal of sniping teams. I went like triple dolphin in the past and now it's just the crocodiles time to shine. Uh, like I said before, it counters turkey, parrots, or like honey badger. It's a tier five, deals eight damage to the thing in the back. And I think, yeah, it's a, it's good for those purposes. And like, it can be the difference between winning and losing for sure. Um, I don't really take it too often to be honest, but like when I do, it can be very helpful. But sometimes like if you're going against a scaling build that has like monkey, penguin, then you're pretty much, its ability is kind of useless. So that's where it kind of just, it sucks to have. But uh, getting an early crocodile, sometimes worth taking, kind of catch some people off guard. I guess it depends like on arena versus uh, 1v1s or verses because you can see when people have crocodiles and verses because you can preview people's teams and yeah so in arena you can't do that so you can hopefully catch some people off guard there is a still a decent amount of summoning teams in arena so can kind of ruin their hopes and dreams the problem is that it's also really easy to counter crocodile so all you need is just one melon armor or a one up or you just like have more than eight health so there's a lot of situations where it actually doesn't work, but uh, most of the time I feel like people aren't really thinking about Crocodile too much. If you do have like a Badger and you want it to get, like you can think about it trying to get to above 8 health just in case. So if you have like a cow, you can buff the Badger once to get it to like above 8. But you know, most people don't really pay attention to that sort of thing. And like if you really want to, you can put like a monkey in the back and put Honey Badger second. There's always that possibility too. Got an early dolphin here. Not really part of the sniping squad. I've had actually a decent amount of runs where I just go dolphin, like parrot, crocodile, leopard, snake, and they've actually, they won a surprising amount. They're not that consistent for sure, but they can specifically beat a lot of people's teams and it's pretty fun. I would recommend trying it out, sure. Early bison. So there's like, there's some good tier fours that have, or to like level up into on tier five and six. And I think bison, can potentially be like just an absolute game changer especially in 1v1s uh, I've noticed that like you get a level 3 and you get an early bison it feels like you just kind of win uh, it's not really the case in arena but it still feels like a massive advantage honestly probably better than early penguin because most of the time well not most of the time but sometimes you don't have a ton of level 2s this team specifically is set up for a lot of level 2s so penguin is great here and I know that I'm going to be going Crocodile, which isn't unlocked until turn 9. So I'm just buying cans on turn 7, 8 to kind of prepare for that. And yeah, I uh, got a Swan that I just want to get to level 2, and then everything will be level 2. It is crazy how many stats a Penguin gives. If you have everything to level 2, you're giving plus 4, plus 4. Like, level 3 Penguin could give plus 12, plus 12. That's just not fair. You compare that to, like, uh level three monkey it's uh it's like plus what six plus nine that's 15 stats instead of 24 and you unlock penguin a tier earlier it just feels like the penguin for whatever reason giving the most stats for free there's also things on tier six you've got dragon you've got cat you also have seal on tier five a lot of good scalers, but they all require you to spend gold in order to scale. And Penguin is just, it's free. You get all those stats for free. You can get 12 stats or 24 stats, whatever, for free. It's, uh, it seems a little broken, and I think it's the best in the game, but I hope they don't nerf it. I hope that they, like, just hope, uh, I hope they just buff other things. I mean, I've said this multiple times, but if they keep buffing, or if they keep nerfing all the things that are fun in the game... I don't know what's going to be left, but yeah, we're prepping, uh, wow, I just cannot speak. I'm prepping going all crocodiles, and uh, got a level 2 croc, so it's now going to be scaled by the penguin, which is pretty nice, and uh, yeah, just looking for crocs. Also, I'll take parrots. Tigers also accomplish the same thing, 
But it's kind of weird because a tiger parrot or a tiger croc is the same as a parrot croc, but just worse stats. So like, there's not really any point in taking a tiger versus a parrot. Uh, it's only like two stat difference, because so it's not actually that significant, but still. It's strange that a parrot, a tier 4, is just better than a tiger. Yeah, so Selling Swan, getting another crocodile. Nice. And I roll into a parrot. So now I have to decide whether to sell penguin. I could sell giraffe, which I did, or I could sell the, uh, the fish. Fish is my biggest unit. Also has garlic armor, although garlic armor might not do a lot on turn 11. Uh, and the penguin is scaling this crocodile, which I know is going to stick around. But the fish is probably not going to stick around, so uh, I could have sold penguin too. I guess it doesn't really matter. But at this point, I'm just looking for, like, steak for everything. So the ability on the crocodile is nice, but you're not going to be able to beat teams that just have, like, one good unit at the front. Because most teams, they front load their uh, team with a bunch of good units. So in order to try to beat those teams, I decided to just put stake on everything. But really what I'm hoping to do is just run into a lot of summoning teams, which, to be honest, didn't happen a ton in this run, like, uh, at all. I shouldn't really spoil it. Oh, wait a second. There's a summoning team. There was a turkey. Okay, I lied. Apparently, I completely forgot what was in this run. But I'll include another run that I did just before this one that did not get to 10 wins, but I thought was much more satisfying because I ran into some summoning teams, and that's the whole point of going crocodile, pretty much. You just get to run into summoning teams and completely ruin their day. Although, they don't really know it, because when you play in Arena, you're playing against like some teams that are kind of in the system, and it's not live, so they don't actually play against you. You only play against them. And uh, ran into a Hedgehog Blowfish team, which it seems like it'd be bad, but we actually make it so their Hedgehog dies from their... I mean, their Blowfish dies from their Hedgehogs. So it worked out to be, like, half decent. Could take a Tiger there. You can put a Tiger behind a Leopard, or not, a Crocodile or a Parrot. Doesn't really matter. I decided to roll past it, though. And instead take another Parrot. Just because, like, it looks better. Everything on the team is going to be green once I sell this fish. It's a nice green team. And, uh, are there any other green units in the game? I think it's just croc- oh, there's snake. Look at that. We killed their tiger and their snake. And then the stake absolutely, uh, clutches it out right there. That's just how good stake can be. And, yeah, pretty happy with how that went. This honestly, this took a decent amount of attempts to actually accomplish because- there are a lot of teams that will just ruin me, and uh, it's not like, it's just not that great of a team, unfortunately. I decided to put a bad a B on the back just in case. Sometimes you trade, win with that honeybee spawn, classic. And let's see, we kill their monkey, their mosquito, and their skunk, or something like that. And again, the stake does it. So there we go. I would say we mostly won because of the stake rather than the crocodiles, but. The crocodiles definitely thinned out the herd a little bit, which is nice, and so there's 10 wins. Kind of surprising, uh, but it took me a lot of attempts, again. So here was one of those attempts. It's a very similar team, parrots and crocodiles, but a melon armor fish. And look what I just happened to run into. Tiger, whale, deer, and oh my god, we destroyed their entire team. Perfect. That's the counter to tiger, whale, deer right there. Uh... That is normally such a good team that will beat so many teams on turn 11, was that? Like, the only way they can lose is if things get sniped. And, yeah, I'm at 8 wins, it looks like. Trying to go for 10, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Again, you just need, like, one strong unit. If I, I don't have a lot of stake, so it may be, like, two strong units. It depends on the positioning. Uh, they, if they have just, like, one strong unit with melon at the front, it's kind of over. And I am on lethal. Run into a penguin cow. So it's just, it's rough. And there we go. That's the end. Uh, pretty disappointing to just get to eight wins with that one. But that shows you just how inconsistent this can be. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.